Is there anything we can do in this life to guarantee that we will meet the Dhamma again in our next life? Well, simply being close to the Dhamma. Um, our minds tend... It, it's not entirely sufficient, but our minds tend towards the sorts of things that we are, in, we are engaged in. So there, there's just so many factors that you can never really be sure. But well, what you can be sure is, is if your mind is not in line with the Dhamma, then it doesn't matter whether you, you meet with the Dhamma or not. So in fact, it, it's important to meet with the Dhamma, but it's far more important to be ready to meet with it. And that's, I think, something that is much more under our control than whether we actually meet with the Dhamma. So you can't say what your next life is going to be like. You, 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 all of the factors are just so hard to predict, and there's so many things involved with the, you know, the chance of, of, of where you're going to be born. But you can affect, affect uh, where, your mi where your mind is at that time. So, in some cases, like in the case of Sumana the gardener, who I talked about in the last Dhammapada video, he met with the Buddha, and he listened to the Buddha's teaching, I think. He paid great respect to the Buddha, but uh, the Buddha's prediction was that he would never become enlightened under a Buddha, that eventually he would become enlightened by himself. He would become self-enlightened as a Pacheka Buddha, a private Buddha, sometime in the future. So it's, an, it's a reminder that it's actually meeting with the Dhamma in the sense of meeting with, with, with the, the uh, passed on teachings is not, entire, not the most important thing. The most important thing is getting your mind in line with the Dhamma, which most likely will cause you to meet with the Dhamma. It's just not certain. But as I said, what is certain is if you're in a bad place, if your mind is in a bad place, it doesn't matter if you meet with the Dhamma. Uh, because you'll never meet with the Dhamma, the, the truth. The Dhamma is on different levels. There's the teachings, and then there's the truth, which uh, the teachings provide or help one, one realize. So someone can realize the truth without having be taught, been taught. It's much more difficult, of course, but uh, the worst is if your mind is not ready to understand it, then it doesn't matter whether you, you are, uh, receive the teachings or not. You'll never become enlightened. So the best we can do is to be ready for the teachings, to purify our minds and have our minds in a good place. Of course, the best we can do is now that we have, reached, have, have, have met with the teachings is to realize the Dhamma in this life. Obviously, that's the best. And thinking about the next life is a really... Um, bad place to focus our attentions, but a, a, a side product of that is, first of all, we'll be ready for the teachings, and second of all, provided our mind is uh, involved enough with the teachings and involved with, involved with people who are meditating and so maybe helping out in a meditation center or teaching meditation or uh, helping your other, other people learn the Dhamma, like when, for example, when you teach the Dhamma, it's, it, you would think that that puts you in a position to learn the Dhamma in the future. That if, if karma is really all that it's cracked up to be, that uh, the best way to, to receive teachings is to give them. This is, you know, even in this life, you can see the best way to learn something is to teach it. Many people will verify it. So, obviously, practicing the Dhamma is the best way, but... Uh, just remember that the most important thing is to be ready for it rather than to, to simply meet with it. Though, not to put down the, the chance of meeting with the Dhamma. It's a rare opportunity and it's a wonderful thing that we have. It's just that I would say it's not entirely certain, even if you are a practitioner, because there's, a, there's just so many variables involved with karma. It's something that we can't really understand and can't really predict unless we're fully enlightened Buddhas. So...